Hey guys, welcome back to Black Moon Coven. So today I wanted to do a really, really fun little video. I picked up this really cute book at the Half Price Bookstore. And in essence, this is a dictionary of different divination techniques. So I highlighted like the best ones and I'm going to do a fun little video kind of describing them and everything else. Um, the ones that I highlighted are the ones that I feel most people would get a use out of, most people can do really easily, and it's just another fun way to do divination, um, you know, besides tarot cards and pendulums and like the traditional ways. So, let's begin. Abacomancy is the practice of divination by reading ashes. So this is a very ancient practice of divination. Back then, in the ancient times, they used human remains, ashes, um, you know, things like this. But we don't do that now in the modern era. But what works really, really well is bay leaf ashes. So you burn some bay leaves down to a crisp and they create this really nice black ash that you could use for a lot of things. But you could definitely use this for abacomancy. The same thing with like sage ashes or even your incense ashes, you know, those incense holders that I get annoyed by <laughs> that drip ash all over the place, all over my cloths. Put a piece of paper underneath the incense ashes and then just kind of shift them like this and you'll get a really nice picture, something to interpret. So everyone could do this one. I think it's really easy and it's really fun. The next one is Allomancy. So it's a practice of divination by reading the pattern made by a sprinkle of salt. So grab a piece of paper, um, most likely black in contrast. You can use white, but it's really hard to see. Or just do it on the table. You could just swipe the salt off afterwards. But do it on a table, sprinkle a little bit of salt, and see kind of what picture comes up, something you can interpret. Another way to cast um, this kind of divination is to throw... Um, some salt into the fire or into a flame and see what appears to you, what pictures you can interpret, what symbols appear, you know, different things. The next one is a really fun one. It's called The Art of Little Dots. It's a modern form of geomancy. So what you do is you hold a pen in your non-writing hand. So for me, it would be the left hand because I write with my right hand and the opposite for everyone you know, that are left-handed, you will do it in your right hand. Um, you get a white piece of paper, you totally clear your mind, and you quickly dot the paper a hundred times. So you take the little piece of paper and go like this a hundred times in different random directions and different randomness, and then you interpret the picture that you kind of made with your subconscious. So I think that's really fun, and it's something you could do all the time and especially with the new moon coming up now is the time to try new divination techniques and new things with the new moon and everything else get creative so this is a fun little one anyone can do um bibliomancy is another favorite using a book for divination any book will do um grimoires bibles or a book of poems work best i like to use my tarot book um i know i talk about my tarot book a lot but I have the modern book of tarot by Sky Alexander. And what I do is I flip to a random page for a daily pool sometimes just because I don't want to get out my cards and shuffle. And that's a form of bibliomancy. So I'm doing divination, just not with tarot cards, but with a tarot book. So you just take the book and you flip it to a random page and you read the first thing you see. And that's kind of your session of interpretation. Um... Cancellation is a form of love divination. So everyone knows the she loves me, she loves me not type of thing. That's cancellation. So this is a fun, really, really fun one for a little like love divination games type of thing. Write out your name and then the other person's name. Cross out the same letters and then with the remaining letters do he loves me not or she loves me not or depending on what your situation is. So write out your name, her name, cross out the same letters, and with those remaining letters, you're going to do that little cancellation game. The next one is seromancy, and it's wax divination. So you grab a candle, um, thinking about your question, let it burn a little, creating a good amount of wax, and then you're going to grab a bowl of cold water, 
I recommend a scrying bowl, which is all black, but you can do basically whatever, um, depending on the color of wax. So I'd probably use like a white bowl and maybe like red wax just to get a nice contrast so then I could read it really easily and everything else. It's cold water inside the bowl and then you're going to pour the candle into the bowl whichever way feels right. You could do it in a circle, you could just plop it in there, whatever you want, and then interpret the image that comes forth from the wax. Um, the next one is Nephlomancy. And that is a cloud reading. So cloud gazing, cloud reading, kind of the same thing. Look up at the sky, thinking of your question, and kind of interpret the first cloud um, that you see as kind of your answer or your outcome. The next one is Ovomancy, which is egg white divination. So similar way to, kind of similar to divining with wax, you're gonna do the same thing. This time you crack an egg and let only the egg whites into the bowl. So you have a bowl of cold water, only let the egg white in there, not the yolk, and then it'll form a picture or it'll make the water kind of clouded and move around so you could see something and you can divine from that. Pyromancy is the next one. And it's a practice of divination by staring into the flames of burning herbs or a fireplace. It's similar to fire scrying. It's essentially the same thing. You stare into a candle or a fireplace to kind of see images and interpret from that. Tyromancy is the next one, and that is cheese divination. So in older times, young maidens would write the names of suitors on pieces of cheese. The one that grows mold first is the ideal mate for her. So another love divination. I don't know how many people are going to be able to do this one. Um, I don't know how many people would want to do this one. Just thought this was an interesting one to definitely put in the video. But that is, that is it. So those are just fun little divination techniques that I thought you guys would really, really like and really appreciate. And especially little ones that you could use to kind of switch up your divination routine and things like this. So the book, again, if you're interested, is the Wiccan's Dictionary to Prophecy and Omens by Jarena Dunwich. So... She's the author of the Wicca spell book as well. And I will be doing a full review on this on my book list. Probably the next video coming up after that. So stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was very, very fun. And as soon as I picked this book up, I'm like, oh, this would make a perfect video for YouTube. So hope you guys enjoyed that. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on uh, Witches and Pagans Amino. Check out my Etsy page and all that good stuff I say at the end. But until next time, I'll see you guys.